I'm back from extinction thanks to new DNA technology. Enzymes and bacteria can target and destroy DNA using the CRISPR tool, allowing them to recreate the genome of the iconic animal by following a genetic blueprint. American team are working to resurrect the mammoth by using the same technology. And Associate Professor Andrew Pask from the University of Melbourne joins me now. fiction which it was back when that book was written it's now actually becoming science fact and so the teams in america are making a huge amount of headway with this with the mammoth genome so they're making edits on the asian elephant genome and putting all the mammoth genes into that particular um, dna and uh, it seems like within a few years they think that you'll be able to see some sort of elephant mammoth hybrid animal being born and actually coming to to actually a live animal so what could be next well i think you know you can apply this to all sorts of different species then which is really interesting so things like the thylacine is a great candidate it's a recent extinction event the habitat for it still exists in tasmania so it's something that you could potentially put back into the wild i think the big question is what these animals will actually look like when they're made because they are this combination of DNA from a living species as well as that from the extinct species. So we're still not sure exactly what they're going to look like, and I guess that remains to be seen. And could then they actually could they actually then breed? Yeah, I mean, that would be the, the ultimate goal of this, is you would produce live, viable specimens that you could release into the wild and potentially repopulate those particular species. Andrew Pass, this is amazing, just like the movie. You know, we thought it was such a far-fetched when we watched it on the big screen. Yeah. You're amazing. Talk to you soon.